Hallelujah. Praise Lord again. Amen. It is uh, part two for the preaching. Jesus is coming soon. Okay. So I was continuing um, talking about that uh, we have we have to we have to think, you know, because this world is not our home. I always say the same. This world is not our home. What can we preach again? The really to preach is to tell the people the truth that the world is end. It is end time. So my sister, my brother, um, I was saying that when we wake up or when we see something like news or BBC or uh, we see uh, news in the internet, we see that there are many things which are uh, terrible and and uh, scared. They are so scared. Scared. Um, you see, like now there are sickness which have come in this world like Ebola. I was talking about Ebola. Ebola is a very terrible sickness. It is a sickness which is scared. It scared family. Because when it catch one person in the family inside, all people will die. So, the Bible also say, when the end time come, there are many things which will happen. There will be some sickness which it will never be healed. No medicine. There will be war against brothers and brothers. There will be um, poor. Poor will get more and more. No food. Uh, even the weather itself it will not be good. And even human beings themselves, they will not be good. People, they will hate themselves. You will see brothers and sisters, they don't love themselves anymore. Even if you try to communicate with your brother or your sister, to make that love of Christ, everybody is busy. Nobody even understands. Nobody even knows what is going on. You know? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, I was talking about this sickness which came, Ebola, because nobody knows where it comes from. Some, they say they release it from another country. Some, they say it's a sickness which it was written in the Bible. Some, they say it's a sickness from eating dirty food, not caring of the body, germs or eating animals in the bush. You see, people are confused. So my sister, my brother, I was reading in the Bible and saying that Jesus is coming soon. The son of the man, the man is coming soon. So, okay. When Jesus is coming soon, I was asking, are we ready? Are you ready? You know, I cannot just ask you, are you ready? Yeah, me too. Am I ready? Okay. Jesus said, he will come like a thief. Yes. And nobody will know. Hey. So. And this wall, it is end time, my sister, my brother. Because even if you preach, people, they will not hear. But let me tell you, my sister. If you know the Lord call you and choose you, don't stop preaching. Don't stop praying. Don't stop repenting. Just preach. It doesn't matter what will happen. Just preach. Because the word of God, it will remain forever. All these things in this world, they will pass away. So, it is better we stay in that word of God, which it will remain forever. The word of God will remain forever. You can talk to somebody, he will not understand you. Even if you try to acclaim, Germans they say acclaim. Yes. They will not understand you. They will just look at you. Just continue. Just continue speaking the word of Lord. Just continue preaching the gospel. Just continue talking about Jesus. Continue telling people the truth. What the Holy Spirit of God will tell you. Because your body is not your own. The Lord say your body is not your own. It is the holy temper of Holy Spirit. It is, the, it, is, it is the Holy Temple, you know. So, when the Holy Spirit of God talk to you and say, preach, tell them, don't fear. Just preach the word of God. Preach the word of Jesus. Because Jesus is coming soon. He said that day, it will be a trouble day. It will be dark. The, the stars will fall down. The moon even will be red. Oh. So, and the tarumbet, it will blow. The glorious tarumbet will blow. And Jesus say, he will guard his angels in every four corners. 
to, to, to guard his chosen people. That is we. It is you. So we have to be ready to repent our sins. Because this world is not our home. I repeat again. And it is true. Who have lived in this world forever? Even those ones for 2,000 years or before Christ, Christus. They are no more living. Because this world is not our home. Yes. So, are we ready? Jesus is coming soon. Are we ready, my sister, my brother? Are we going to make it? By the grace of God, we are going to make it. But only if we believe in Jesus Christ. Only when we repent our sins. Only when we be ready. And even to preach the gospel. Because even if we are born again, and we don't preach the word of God, you say, I'm a Christian. I am born again. A child of Christ. I am baptized. I am, I am born again. And you are sitting in the house. You, you don't go even to preach in, uh, for people in the streets. You don't go even to preach for people in the church. You don't go and preach even for people in Africa. You see? We, we, who we are here in Europe, let's go to Africa and preach the word of God. And even here in Europe, let us preach. Hallelujah. Amen. And those ones who are in Africa, let them come and preach also in Europe or in America. Or everywhere in the world, people to travel. The gospel. The, the meaning of gospel is to preach the word of God. To travel and preach. To travel and preach. Let me tell you, my sister, my brother. There are many people, they have not heard about Jesus Christ. Let me tell you. There are many people, they know Jesus. But they don't know who is Jesus. And what is Jesus doing? And where does he come from? Where is he? So, you, you are called and chosen, my sister, my brother, woman of God, man of God. Don't sit there and say you are born again, you are a child of Christ. You just go Sunday to the church. Preach. There are many ways nowadays the Lord Jesus Christ have opened for preaching. Preach for people. Yes, preach for people. You can preach even through your telephone. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. You can preach through YouTube. And you can preach through Tell a TV. You can preach through WhatsApp. Yes. Me, yeah, I do that sometimes. You can preach through Skype. There are many ways to preach. And even when you are moving, you leave your house to go to supermarket and you meet somebody. Who, who, somebody will greet you to ask you, show me the way to go left or to go right. Yes. Greet him and show him the way and ask him if he's born again. If you have received Jesus Christ, give him a word. Even if two words, you have preached already. And if you have time, preach for him and tell him, if he's not born again, tell him to give his life to Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, my sister, my brother, there are many that have not heard that word. Even in this Europe, we are living here in Germany. I'm in Germany. There are many Germans that they don't know about Jesus Christ. I meet many of them and I tell them. And they always tell me, thank you because you have told me. I didn't know. You see? And even if you go to Africa where people are, are worshipping uh, all over the night, in the cities, in the centers, there are people in the village who they don't know about Jesus Christ. And if we don't go and do that, so Jesus will come and ask us. And that's why I'm saying, are we ready? We cannot just be ready because we are born again and sit in the house and say, I'm waiting for Jesus. Jesus will come like a thief. Jesus will come anytime. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming and take me to heaven. You have, you have to do something. You have to, to, to preach the word of God. You have to tell the people how to live. So that we can make heaven together by the grace of God. Lord say, he will never leave his children alone. And the Lord say, call me. And I will hear you. In the book of Jeremiah 33. 3, he said call me. I will hear you and I will answer you. My sister, my brother. Call the Lord. In the book of Jeremiah 33. 3, the Lord will hear you. Any difficult problem. Any problem you have. The Lord said he will settle the problems. Yes. He said he will not leave his children alone. But you know if you call. He will hear. And he will answer you. But if you don't call, how will he know that you are calling him? How will Jesus know that you are calling him? Call Jesus. 
call the Lord and Lord will help you. Lord will show you many ways. Even where there is no way, the Lord will make the way. Where there is no peace, the Lord will make peace. He will put peace. Where there is no happiness, Lord will put happiness. Where there is no power, no Holy Spirit, the Lord will put it. Because you know, with, without all those things, you cannot serve Lord. You want to serve Lord. You want to serve Lord so that when the Son of the Man came, come, He will come soon so that we will make eternal life. We will go to the Father. We will sing hallelujah. My sister, my brother, let us be ready. There is a song that says, um, oh, la, 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 be ready, Jesus is coming soon. This one says, oh, my brothers and my sisters, be ready, Jesus is coming soon. Be ready, be ready, be ready. Be ready, be ready, be ready, Jesus is coming soon. Be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, Jesus is coming soon. Oh, my brothers. And my sisters, be ready, Jesus is coming soon. Be ready, be, be ready, be ready, be, be ready, be ready, be, be ready. Jesus is coming soon. Be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready. Jesus is coming soon. You hear? Be ready. Jesus is coming soon. My sister, my brother, don't forget that Jesus is coming soon. He's coming soon. I was talking about sickness. It's not only sickness. Even people are running from their countries, going to the other countries, fighting for their life, fighting for their bread. People are suffering in some other countries. Let us be ready any time. Because Jesus Christ said he will come like a thief. Jesus Christ said he will come soon. Jesus Christ said, not that he don't want to come. He's giving us time. Because he don't want us to go to hell. He made the hell for Satan. And he made heaven for his children. And who are his children? It is we. So my sister, my brother, let us be ready because Jesus will come soon. Let us be ready because Jesus will come soon. He will come. There is a day he will come. There is a day he will come. You will like it or not. You like it or not. Or I like it or not. There is a day Jesus will come. He will come. So we have to be ready because Jesus is Lord and he will come. Amen. Hallelujah. My sister and my brothers, God bless you. Um, my names are Pastor Sister Magdalene, Emily Tanoi. I come from Kenya. And I live in Germany. God bless you. God bless you so much. And my sister, my brother, don't forget to read again and read it again. The book of Matthew 24, verse 29 to 31. The coming of the Son of the Man. That is Jesus. Jesus will come. My sister, Jesus will come. My brother, Jesus will come. Let us be ready. Yes, anytime. We pray God. We be ready. We call the name of the Lord. He say he will hear us and will answer us. Jesus say, whom will call my name? In the last day will be safe. Let us call the name of Jesus. He will save us and he will not leave us alone. And by the grace of God, we are going to make heaven. You, you believe that you are a Christian and you believe in Jesus Christ. You believe also that you will make heaven. Why not? 
It is like when you are going, I was talking about traveling with an aeroplane or with the bus or going to office. When you wake up, you believe that you are going to your job. When you wake up, and you believe, you believe that you want to fly with the aeroplane, and you will make it. So we believe that we will make heaven by the grace of God. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.